Now up here at 100. And 32, uh, sorry, 126 pounds. Gage Crater from Delaware Valley against Justin Krustowski from Butler. Both men go out of bounds there. Crater from Delaware Valley, a 23 and nine record on the year, 10 wins by pinfall, nine decisions, two technical falls. And a major decision in wins. Came in second in District 19. Justin Krustowski, 28 and nine record. Second in the District two, 10, 10 wins by pinfall, eight wins by decision, six major decisions and two technical falls. Krustowski is a sophomore, Gage Crater a junior. No score thus far as 60 seconds have gone by in the first round of action here. And you can see, oh, he could have gotten him on his shoulders. Kenny, is he going to roll him over here? Oh, Krustowski almost got a pinfall there if he would have just rolled him down. Oh, wow, F almost a flying head scissors on the ground there by Gage Crater. They call him Crater because that move was out of this world. Wow. Trying to use the frame to bring down Krustowski is Crater. And as we come on 30 seconds left, he's going to try to transition to get two takedown points. And Krustowski staying tough on the ground. Front uh, gut wrench here hold on the ground here by, <clears throat> excuse me, by Gage Crater. Now both men up to their feet. They continue to tie up as the first period draws to a close. Morris County won the toss at the beginning, so they get to choose what occurs at the end and beginning of each round. And Krustowski chooses to be on the bottom of the referee's position here with with Crater on top. No score for either wrestler yet. Rolls over. Oh, dangerous position here, but Crater rolls out of it. Continuing that control on the back here. And no escape points given. Still no score. Oh, what an exchange on the ground between these two wrestlers. Two points given on a reversal there to Krustowski. So two to nothing for the Butler sophomore. Trying to, trying to pick the leg of Krustowski here is Gage Crater. But a stalemate is going to be called before any advance could be made. Krustowski from referee's position. Six seconds to go in the second period of action here. And now we head into the third. Two-nothing lead for Gage Crater. Off of a reversal that he had in the previous period. Referee's position to start the third. Krustowski in control. Still on top. I said earlier, due to the fact that Hunter and Warren Sussex has such a large lead over, over Morris County, once they get even the slightest bit of a lead in the points department during an individual bout, Hunter and Warren Sussex has been not very aggressive in going for takedowns. If they get on back control, they just maintain it and stay there. They do as much as they can without getting a stalling call as to maintain the lead that they have. But right now, the same can be said for Krustowski, even though he really wants to get as many points as he can on the team side of things out of this bout. 
as they go out of bounds. Whistle was blown down to 11 seconds to go in the third period of action here. 2 nothing lead for Krastowski. One point on the escape given <clears throat> to Gage Crater. Two seconds, one second, and that'll be a victory for Krastowski over Crater. After a few losses, Morris County...